Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about um, my July favorites. These are going to be my favorite beauty products for the month of July. I want to thank you guys for all the birthday wishes you guys sent to me um, with since my birthday was this past month of July. And um, if you guys didn't check out my video, I had a video I posted recently on my birthday haul, which showed all my birthday gifts that I got for my birthday. So I will link that haul right over here. You guys can go and check that haul out. Um, if you guys haven't seen that haul yet. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into my favorite product. The first things I'm going to talk about are nail polish, like nail polishes. And I know that I rarely talk about nail polish on my channel, but I love nail polish. And I know I had a, a subscriber uh, request like a nail polish collection video, and I do want to do one of those videos soon. I just don't have my nail polish organized, so as soon as I get it organized, I will definitely do a nail polish collection video because I think those videos are really interesting to see how people store their nail polish and also see what you know their favorite nail polishes are. On to these favorites, it's these two uh, nail polishes from. Revlon and it is a, a top coat and a base coat um, and it's from their Revlon color stay collection I'll just kind of hold it up close to the camera so you guys can kind of see but this is just the base coat and um, I don't know if you guys have seen the brushes on these but the brushes are really like nice and thick but the brush tips are really nice and thick it's almost like it has two brushes like um, in one so it's it's really nice to apply this. Um, it goes on like really easy and really well. The reason why I like this top coat and, and base coat is because it makes your nail polish last forever. And I'm not even joking. Like usually when I paint my nails, they start chipping off in like a day or two. I don't know if it's the top coat that makes it last long or the base coat or if it's just the combination of both of these. But both of these together, my nail polish stays on for like a week. And it doesn't chip off. I mean, my nail polish that I have on right now, I painted this, I think, like two or three days ago. And it looks pretty much perfect still. No chips or anything. The reason why I got this base coat in the first place was because um, my nails, they get stained really easily by nail polish and things like that. And this does really help with, you know, keeping your nails from getting stained from nail polishes. It's a really great base coat in that sense. The only downfall to the base coat is it has a really weird smell to it I can't it smells like really plasticky I don't even know if that's a word but it just smells like plastic um, whenever it's drying on your nails and when I first used it it like smelt so bad I was like I don't know that I can use this nail polish like I might have to take it back but it worked so well I kinda got over the fact that it had that weird smell whenever it was drying so that's the only downfall but I can live with that because it makes your nail polish last forever and it makes your manicure look really good. Like the top coat is very, very shiny. Like your nails look really shiny for like a long period of time. These are great finds and I absolutely love Next, these. Next uh, nail polish that I'm going to talk about is this color here and it's an OPI nail polish. It's this color here by OPI and it's called Just Spotted the Lizard. I think is what it's called. Yeah. Just spotted the lizard. There's the bottom of it. You can read it there. But this is from their Spider Man collection. And this is an exact dupe for Chanel's Peridot. And um, it's just such a beautiful polish. Like, it has gold and like green and like a really deep blue. It's just so, so pretty on your fingernails. And I wore this a lot like over the month of July and I had so many compliments when I wore this nail polish. Like I had guys like compliment me on this nail polish. I had a couple of guys com comment on it and say that they really liked it. And I had a lot of women said that they like it. So I just got a lot of compliments when I wore this nail polish. I a gift card for my birthday. So I went to Sephora and whenever I was in there, um, the girl that was checking me out, she asked me if I had Chanel's Peridot on my nails. And I was like, no. I I have a really great dupe for it so I highly recommend this nail polish it is so pretty and it's just so different and I love now, it now I'm gonna go ahead I guess and get into these next favorites they're more like skin I guess products or whatever um, but this has been such an awesome favorite I did a review on this product but it's the Maybelline dream fresh BB uh, cream and I did a review on this so 
I will link that review over here so you guys can go check out that review if you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, I talk more in depth about this product but it's such an awesome BB cream. It lasts forever. It gives really great natural coverage. It doesn't make your face shiny at all so I think it'd be really good for people that have oily skin. My skin's more normal to dry and it works really good on my skin as well. Um, but it's a really awesome BB cream and it also has SPF 30 so I know that a lot of BB creams especially at the drugstore like my Garnier BB cream it only has SPF 15 um, so this is really good because it's got a higher S SPF. I also found that with my Garnier BB cream I still love that um, but if you get it wet it really like runs and it looks smeary and um, this BB cream is not like that it does not smear so it's like it's sweat proof and all that sort of thing so I absolutely love this um, the color that I have is in light medium um, I feel that I could possibly wear medium just because I feel that this is a slight bit too light for my skin right now but I can make it work because I'll put on bronzers and things like that so but it comes in several different colors as well I go in more in depth about that in the review of this so definitely go check out the review um, but I absolutely love this BB cream. It's awesome. It was only like $7.44 at Walmart, so it's very reasonable, very reasonably priced. <laughs> and then this next product, I know a lot of people talk about this on YouTube. It's the Jergens uh, Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. And people either love this stuff or they hate this stuff. Um, I love it. I know that a lot of people complain and say that it has that um, smell that smells like um, self tanners which it has that smell just slightly but it doesn't even bother me that much. It's not very strong. I get mine in the revitalizing. They have like different formulas like firming and things like that but I get mine in the revitalizing. It's supposed to last a little bit longer the color is supposed to um, but I usually apply this like to two to three days in a row and then I'll skip a couple of days and then when I go to reapply this again um, I'll exfoliate real well and then apply it again for like two or three more days in this a row. This is a really great self tanner. It's not going to give you a really deep deep dark tan. I'm not really into being super super dark. I just feel that it looks kind of weird on me to be really really dark. Um, I just like for my skin to have that nice like sun-kissed glow and I really feel that this Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer really does that for my skin and it just looks really natural and just looks like you have a healthy glow to your skin so I highly recommend this and I have the medium to tan skin tones is the uh, color that I have. I guess this is one of my last face products that I'm going to talk about that has been a favorite for this past month um, but it's this hard candy uh, it's a baked bronzing powder but honestly it's a highlighter um, this has just been such a wonderful highlighter and I just absolutely love it Let's see if I can swatch it there for you guys if you guys can kind of see it's just a really nice champagne like golden color I have it on my cheeks today for a highlight um, it's just a really nice highlighter and it's not too expensive you can get it at Walmart the next product that I'm going to talk about I picked this up um, with one of my gift cards but it's the uh, Giorgio Armani Aqua de Gioia perfume and I just recently did a review on this perfume um, so if you want to check out that review of this I'll link that over here um, so you guys can go and check that review out um, but I absolutely love this perfume and I'm sure that you guys can probably tell that because I've used like half of it already it smells so fresh and so clean and just like the ocean it reminds me of like the ocean or just like you just got out of the shower just a really fresh clean smell so if you want to know more about what it smells like go check out that review but this has just been such a great perfume favorite I just love this stuff so so much and then the next thing I'm going to talk about is a chapstick and it's from Nivea and it's a kiss of moisture just kind of zoom in so you guys can see it there um, but I love this chapstick so much um, I know that I used to use the Nivea Kiss of Smoothness and I still really like that chapstick as well but this one is just a lot more moisturizing than the Kiss of Smoothness <laughs> than the Kiss of Smoothness but this just kind of when you put it on your lips it almost looks like you have a clear gloss like it's kind of glossy it's really moisturizing and I highly recommend it I don't know if it has any SPF in it or not I don't think that it does but it is a really great like 
moisturizer. It's like a really good primer for your lips. So like in the mornings when I'm getting ready, um, I'll put this on like after I apply my moisturizers and just let that like seep into my lips before I put on my lipstick. So, I really, really have been enjoying that over this past month. And then the last thing that has been a big favorite for me this past month of July are false eyelashes. And I love this Kiss brand of false eyelashes. I love the number twos and the number threes. Um, I have the number threes on today, um, but this is what the number threes look like. I hope that you can see it there. But they're kind of like dramatic, really long. They're not too full. I don't like really full eyelashes because I feel like it looks real fake. Um, but these just look like natural. They look really natural. So I hope that you guys can kind of see what that looks like there. So, but that's what they look like on. And I absolutely love these eyelashes. I think they're gorgeous. I have these other lashes, which are a little bit more natural and they give you a little bit more of like a cat eye, winged out like effect. But these are the number twos, yeah, from Kiss. So I had these eyelashes on in my birthday haul. So if you want to see what these look like on, go check out my birthday haul. But I absolutely love these eyelashes. Um, I love how you get two of them in a pack. The little applicator thing is. I don't know, I don't really use that, but I love how it has two sets of eyelashes in here and it doesn't come with the lash glue because, you know, I just use my duo lash glue and it's like if you buy eyelashes a lot, it's like you have a ton of lash glue that you're never going to use. Um, so I think that's nice that they didn't do the lash glue and added like an extra pair of false lashes um, in there, which I got these at Walgreens and I do believe that they were around like six bucks. You can get, you know, several uses out of each pair of lashes. Um, so these are just really great and I really love these so those were my favorites for this past month of July and I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video Please leave me comments below of what your favorite beauty products have been for this month of this past month of July and or you can also leave me video responses um, for your July favorite I'll talk to you guys later and I hope that you all have a great month of August and I hope that you all had a great month of July and I'll talk to you guys very soon bye bye